So yeah, Reddit API is going to be severely limiting the people who can use it because they're gonna be charging ex exorbitant amounts of money. They're basically going down the same path that Twitter is, trying to charge stupid amounts of money for the API uh in order to you know subsidize that or make a profit off of it or whatever when <laughs> a lot historically apis were designed to be a, a, a tool that third-party uh, uh apps or just third-party uh developers could use to make cool stuff for sites right and that in turn also helped the site become successful hey darnell go away for a second <laughs> Whoa, did your boy just get put away? Well, I guess I'll just chill over here with all these cool emotes and hope you don't forget about me like your third party apps. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, Apollo is a probably, th probably the biggest Reddit app, maybe even bigger than the official Reddit app, but I have no numbers to justify that. All I know is that when the beginning of time uh, happened um, and Alien Blue was the number one Reddit app. And then that was, I think, acquired by Reddit or something. And, and then they ended up spinning it off. A spiritual successor made Apollo. And then Apollo ended up being super successful. And then Reddit was like, nah, we got our own app. And they kept doing all these different things, trying to like get you to go to their app. So like, for example, when you open up a page on uh, uh, on Chrome, it pops up and it says, you know, on mobile Chrome rather, uh, it pops up with a little note that it says, you know, oh, well, better be viewed in the app, right? So they're trying to steer everybody to use their app. Now, is the problem when another app already has, you know, uh, a foothold in your industry, basically in your business, because they jumped on making a good solid third party app before you were able to or before you did, period, even though you've had ample amount of times to make an app that it has feature parity with. The competition but instead it's easier to just eliminate the competition by forcing them out by charging your uh charging for your api stupid amounts of money for your api now uh spez did do spez is the ceo founder of uh of reddit he did do a uh an ama today every comment was completely blasted and and voted down there's a ton of drama outside of but like between this AMA that happened today uh, and the initial announcement of even this, right? Apollo, Apollo for Reddit is shutting down. Well, this is what, two days ago? This is yesterday. So much has happened. Uh, Reddit made a claim that the developer of uh, Apollo had basically tried to blackmail them or something like that, uh, which is a pretty strong, 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 strong thing to say. And the developer ends up pushing the entire back end of his app public to basically disprove some of the complaint, the claims that uh, that he was making some kind of threats or blackmail or whatever. Lots, 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 lots of subreddits are going to be shutting down and then they're going to uh, uh, and that's basically going to kill the site's traffic because some of these sites are big sites. There may not be like r slash picks or, you know, I should r slash picks might be on the list. I'm not, I'm not even sure. Now, can they weather it? And then after that, just kind of be like, oh, well, I'm glad you guys got that out of your system. We're still going to make these changes and go fuck yourselves. Very possible because some of the comments that Spez was saying was that they are not profitable. The company uh, Reddit is not profitable, but these third party apps that are using their API are. And so part of their move to try to monetize these things is to be profitable. But in turn, you're going to end up pushing out and eliminating these third party apps. Um, I don't feel like the uh, that the excuse that Reddit is not profitable. I don't. I think that's bullshit, right? Is it not profitable because there's too many people wearing suits or that fucking work at a higher up or whatever that make stupid amounts of money that could probably go towards the bottom line? Probably, yes. <laughs> Just a guess, right? We can just make their own app better, so I want to. So I want to use it. I know, I know. And I've had both Apollo and the Red app on my app, on my phone. I mean, like I said, since the beginning of time, really. I went from Alien Blue to Apollo, and then Reddit kept pushing the the the, the Reddit app. So I was like, "Fuck it, I'll try the Reddit app." Uh, and it was not better; it was worse. Um, you know, I mean, even like I'm using old Reddit, right? This is old style Reddit that I'm looking at here. You know, this could go away too. And this is like a ton of people still use this service, hence why it still exists. But maybe they can't interject enough ads or maybe they don't get enough information from the user using the old system. So maybe they're going to want to push people over to the new system by eliminating the old. That could be the next thing on the chopping block. 
There's so many things that they're that they're removing that they're getting rid of that were core memories. <laughs> there are core things that you go to do on Reddit. You know, they started off with like you know every obscure porn. Uh, adult content, explicit content subreddit you could think of. Sure, there are some bad ones that needed to go. Of course, of course, every site deals with that, right? But then there are some that were like fetishes that people have. I don't know, like toe sucking or something like that. <laughs> and and like it's gone now. It's gone now because I don't know why. Maybe it's too explicit for some folks. Oh my god, sucking on toes. Uh. <laughs> but they are moving away from a lot of explicit. Uh, usage of their API because they say that uh, regulation is getting too strong uh, and so they need to make moves um, on the site in order to prevent any kind of regulation issues. So they're trying to be a fake news, weird gore, but not nudity site. I know, I know, I know, I know, especially like the gore stuff, you know? It's like, look at r slash combat footage. Like I watch somebody's face get blown up by a grenade overseas. No problem, but boy, if I see someone sucking off some toes, I'm calling the advertisers. I'm letting them know.